What is up, everybody out there? Welcome to another Fresh Take Anime Edition. I got Andre, the game idea guy. Yo, what's up, everybody? And we are taking a look at the latest episode of Dragon Ball Super, episode number 95. And yes, Frieza is still a douchebag. Yes, he is. I mean... But uh, the fight sequence was beautiful, though. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, can, can I be honest? I think the animation has gotten better with every um, it's, it's saga, better. especially after Akira Toriyama went off on Toei. After <laughs> the like, whole, yeah, make my series, mm, keep making my series look bad. We're gonna have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm. I'm. I'm it, it's been getting better, but now it's just like on point. So big ups to that's the, the animator. Y'all did an excellent job of animating yeah. this episode. Uh, I think that's also because all the key artists and animators are now working on the series, and it's not just the like the new fresh faces. Yeah, yeah, and that that's that's a good thing because we're about to get into this uh this Universal tournament. But first, we gotta we gotta see about these assassins that uh Universe Nine and uh Four have sent against uh Goku and Frieza. And once again, uh this time I was not mad at Frieza. I don't blame Frieza. If you're an assassin, you come to kill me. It's kill or be killed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Goku with all this, all this no freeze. You can't kill him. I'm sorry. I agree with Freeze on this one. You're like, no. hey, look. If I don't kill him, they're gonna die anyway. <laughs> yeah. So and th- that's the that's the kind of the conundrum of it all. Okay, you got three ch- three options here. If you don't kill him, they're gonna kill you, or they're gonna die anyway because we're gonna win. Yeah. I mean. It's like the the other the other thing is, hey, uh, I don't kill them, and I knock them out. They they still gonna be wiped out anyhow. It don't make a difference. Yeah. Now, after the after the whole fight, we you know we get the scene of Frieza with the communicator talking to Sidra of Universe Nine. Yep. Trying to make it looks like he's trying to make a deal. But he he's trying to manipulate them. Yeah. So. Frieza, of course, and of course, right on, right on cue, Beer shows up. But you're like, hold up, something right here. <laughs> yeah, I, I know I'm leaving out. I know I'm leaving out a certain part first, but I'm coming back to that. So that's why I'm going to do this first. The, the thing about it is, okay, Frieza, I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to see who are how you can manipulate this to your favor. You still can't beat an angel. Idiots. So. Even if you do want to get strong enough to take down Beerus, which that's not going to happen, you still yeah, can't right beat Whis. Because <laughs> yeah. no, like Beerus can't got, beat Whis. Got a whole other, like, and even if he did manage it, if, if he did manage it, I mean, there's still more powerful creatures than them out there. Yeah, so what is your end game here? <laughs> All righty <laughs> then, Frieza, you're not thinking this through. Because right now, you only got 24 hours. You shouldn't be worried about trying to beat Beerus. Yeah, right now, you should be worried about uh, making sure you survive before yeah. you beat beating him. Basically. So you can get resurrected because you know Goku's going to keep his word. So that's what you need to be doing now. Before that part, of course, we had to deal with the issue of the uh, a piece of Sidra's energy, destruction energy. That he yep. gave one of his henchmen to actually take out Frieza or Goku, whichever one. Yep. Frieza, I, I got to give it to Frieza. Frieza actually contained it and was actually holding it. Yep. Which was awesome. I'm not going to lie. That was, awesome. that, was, that was badass. Being, I'll give it to him. And Goku being the gullible idiot that he was. Turned it back on Frieza while Frieza was holding it. I'm like, you motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> And he got, of course, he got hit with it. Now, here's the problem with me. Okay, during all this time, that it's it's ripping, it's supposedly ripping him up. Goku isn't dead. Goku's still in base form. He Goku in base form, still, taking all this pain. Yeah, and I, when Beerus does show up and pretty much just blows it out, that's all he does. <laughs> just like like it's a candle. Just... Yeah. <laughs> So he blows it out, and the next thing you you realize is Goku once again either Goku was playing, or Goku's a hell of a lot stronger than he's letting on, and he just don't want Freezer to see it. 
Yeah, I, I, I think it's the latter, where he's just holding back a lot more of his power. Because it's, it's something is just not right. Yeah. Now, they did a good I mean, job. And on top of that, though, on top of that, though, that could have caused him enough damage to kind of drain his power a bit. Uh-huh. I, I can see that being the case, too. Well, that's the thing. Like, here, here's the thing that I don't, that, that's kind of got me a little bit suspicious here. Because Goku has a bad habit of doing this. But I understand why the pro, why the focus of the episode had to show Frieza, because we hadn't seen Frieza in a while. Yeah. So we had to build up, they had to build up Frieza as a viable threat. Yep. So by the end of the episode, we have Goku and Frieza back to back with Whis, you know, basically giving them a time limit. First person he lands a punch. That's how they declare the winner. And they both hit each other at the same time. Yep. Basically threatening. But, but but you but that classic pose though, back to back. Yeah, back to back. Looking at each other's over their shoulders. Which is awesome because it just brings back memories of Namek. But <laughs> the next thing you, you realize is uh they're threatening each other. Yeah. They had a conversation through <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they had a full on conversation through that one punch. And I still think Goku was holding back once again. I'm like, dude. I think Goku and Vegeta are leagues above what Frieza thinks he has. Frieza thinks he has a leg up. I don't think Frieza understands. I don't think right. Frieza has a leg up. I'm I'm pretty sure he don't. Because they, they, they're way too confident that they can take him out. Like, granted, Goku did note that Frieza got stronger and he's more, uh, yeah. he's a, he's like a better, more finely sharpened tool yeah. than what he was before. But he still wasn't, like, too worried about him. So I'm like, Okay, and that's the other thing because you got to remember they did just like in the arc before when the, when the Trunks arc, they fought two literal gods. Yeah, two two literal gods of the same, two literal gods that merged together and became an even more dis- destructive god. Yeah. So all that all, and all them beatings they took, and we already know how saying that how saying are built basically. So that just made it worse so yeah i'm like dude freeze and sit down somewhere now <laughs> that being said that being said what do you think um uh, i want to get what do you think this is gonna is this gonna lead into like freezer trying to like test the waters when he thinks you know there's a chance that they might lose he's gonna try to jump teams uh i don't know if he'll be attempting that i mean he might it's possible he could because i mean he's a treacherous dude so he gonna do something, but I don't know if it's gonna be him jumping teams, or if he's going to make it, or if he's going to try to manipulate the situation while they're fighting, mess with the gods themselves, and see if he can get one of them to act out, act out of a uh, and step out of line. Yeah, if he could do that. That'd be some amazing shit. Yeah, because they're supposed to. Well, not really. The gods of destruction aren't supposed to be calm. No, but they're. Okay, you you know who's gonna be there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they are all scared of them. And it's like, if he can get one of them to step out of line just the wrong way, with the right timing, that can flip a whole situation on his head. Well, that's the other thing. Okay, we all know that Goku is a favorite of the Grand Priest and Zeno. Mm-hmm. What's gonna happen when he find out what they did? Mm. I think Universe Seven gonna get a, gonna get wiped out before the tournament even starts. Because I think he's gonna find out. That depends on which one you're talking about. The Universe Nine, the with the, the seizure them. Oh, uh, did they? Think, oh, think, Universe you know, Nine might get wiped out. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's gonna find, find out, out what that, happened. They, they screwed if he find out about that. That's why Universe Four decided to use them instead. Yeah, Universe Four because you he ain't stupid. You're <laughs> like, nah, you can send your assassins. <laughs> I just send spies just to look. <laughs> yeah. I ain't do nothing else. They just looking. But that, that's why like, I was like, "Hey, we we played the look, but we we played the look, but don't touch game." Yeah, you went full <laughs> contact, bro. Yeah, so that's <laughs> the thing. I'm like, okay, dude, y'all know what y'all dealing with, and I, and look, I I get it. You know, Goku has that personality that Zeno likes, so he don't mind him. Um, skipping etiquette and decorum, mm-hmm. but 
y'all really need to chill out with this whole oh, we got to stop doing this let's all gang up on them because y'all not thinking about nobody else because from, from out of the ones that had to participate in the tournament it was already stated universe 11 is stronger than all of them yep and I, right now everybody's like we got to get universe 7. what about them jokers <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I'd be worried more about Tank taking down the stronger team than, than, than worried about the team that's the favorite of the the guy running the show. Yeah. So I, it's it's an interesting. It's gotten me hyped for this tournament, even though I kind of have a good idea how this is gonna end. It it got me hyped just to see what's gonna happen, especially with the uh, with Universe Six and the and Kaliflor, Kale, and um, Kaba. Yeah. Because that's going to be some interesting stuff because like I there, said, I'm there's, still, no way, there's no way they're killing them off i have there's no way they're killing them off. no that's what i'm saying i'm thinking i'm thinking and i still stand by this I, i'm thinking what's going to happen is goku's going to win and he's going to ask grand priest and, Z, and Zeno to go on and erase those words but leave those planets and put them in um seven put them in universe seven yeah, bring up that mortal mean, level yeah because remember remember uh uh supreme kai of seven said that yeah our universe is big but we don't have that many planets in it don't have they don't have that many uh call i guess you could consider colonized planets yeah so if that's the case and we already know how, how powerful xeno is he can pretty much move them into seven yeah if that's the case or just let them mass migrate on their own one of the two and then decide, hey, okay, well everybody's gone. Boom, boom, boom. Blow these no. up real quick. No, knowing that he said he's gonna he's gonna erase everything. I'm guessing I'm guessing that's why there's two of them. One of them's gonna move them, the other one's gonna erase it. Possibly. Yeah, so that's what I'm standing by. I'm standing by like and that's when everybody's gonna see that Goku ain't the villain that they want him to be. Because right now everybody says Goku's a villain. Yeah, and no, it's been twice twice pointed out. That if Goku didn't ask for the tournament, they'd have been dead anyway. Yeah, because that's what they were doing when Goku went to go see him. They were planning that shit. I was like, okay, when we gonna do this? Which ones we gonna get rid of first? Yeah, that's what that's what both of them were doing. So if that's what both of them were doing, you better be glad he went and hit that button the time he went and hit the button. <laughs> because had he not, you weren't gonna get no warning. You just gonna not exist. So. That's why I'm thinking, like you know, is that's why I'm thinking it's gonna get, it's gonna come down. Of course, Goku and Jiren, but I think what's gonna happen at the end of it is they're gonna realize Goku's gonna ask them to just move everybody over. Now I don't know what that's gonna mean for the gods of destruction and their attendance, but well, the attendance think, will be fine. But <laughs> yeah, but I don't know what's gonna happen to the gods of destruction because remember, even Beerus, it's time for Beerus to retire. Yeah. Because that's why they want. Um, that's why we wanted to get either Goku or Vegeta to be the new one, which I still find that to be funny. You know, I can picture Vegeta doing it. Goku, I can't picture Goku doing it. I can picture Goku Vegeta wouldn't do it, and Vegeta doesn't want to do it. So I don't think. Well, be... not now because he just had a baby. He but didn't want to was... before, huh? <laughs> But no, remember the first when time, we, what, the first when time we they told him, proposition to me didn't want to do it. That's why he bribed him with food instead. No, but remember when when Weiss was like, "I'll train." After that whole uh, freezer fiasco, he was like, "I'll train you, but you got to promise me that when the time comes, you're gonna be um, God of Destruction." He thought about it. You know, Vegeta thought about it, dude. And that, that's what I probably thought about it for a few minutes, but uh, I'm still leaning toward he really didn't want to do it anyway. Well, knowing him, no, well, yeah, we got to remember we got two full blooded Saiyans. What what do they want to do? Fight. That's the best way for them to do it. <laughs> so, but I don't think he wanted to just go around blowing up planets at random. Who said he was gonna do it at random? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was a little like, little like what Beerus was doing at random. First of all, Beerus wasn't doing his job in the first place. That's why, this, <sighs> that's why the situation happened. <laughs> that's what was so funny when Supreme Cow was like, hold on, don't get mad at me. You the one who's for <laughs> like, I would have been like, neither one of y'all was doing y'all damn job. So don't, don't try to place the blame on each other. It's, it's both of you. And then we don't make nothing no better. He like, 
Well, you do sleep a lot. Like, bruh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> like, nothing with him. Man, look, he's like, Weez is basically like, I, nothing's happening to me anyway, so I'm just chill. I don't get Yeah, I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm just gonna get this is gonna make make you I can spend more time with my daddy and my and my sister. <laughs> Pretty much <laughs> what I get to do. Wait, but, man, yeah. I will just be hanging out at at, at at Zeno's place for a good long while, man. Nothing ain't gonna happen to me, so <laughs> which brings us to the actual end of the episode where the tournament stage has been has been made. Fully set and ready to go. It's ready to go. And Zeno and both Zenos like it. They look they was rolling around and like, hey, this feels nice. We good. We good. this is good ground to fight on. <laughs> so we got Smash Brothers, Final Destination. No um items on 40 minute time limit. <laughs> one stock. One stock. <laughs> Low damage, one stock. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, dude, I, this ain't nothing but Smash. This ain't going to be nothing but a Smash Bros. 8-Man Melee. But <laughs> but you know what? It'll be worth watching. Uh, that's, <laughs> it's going to be worth watching. So I want to ask you, how many episodes do you think we're going to get of the actual fight? If we're, if we're lucky, we're going to get like 10 to 15. That's what I was thinking. 10 to 15 episodes. Yeah. If we're really lucky, they might stretch it to 20. I'm thinking it's gonna be probably between ten and fifteen because we did a lot of build up. There's been a lot of build up. Yeah. There's been honestly, I was thinking they they should just do a whole set of episodes. They should have done a whole season's worth of episodes of build up, and then do a whole season of combat. But they don't want to do that. They don't want to extend it that long. I guess. Well, because you gotta remember um, when the Grand Prix said it was gonna take him some time. I was thinking it was gonna take him like a couple months. He gave him forty hours. <laughs> He's like, nah, bitch. Y'all thought y'all was gonna get away. Y'all thought y'all was gonna have time to plan. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> you got forty hours to get your teams together and get back here, and then we're gonna fight for forty minutes. That that's just fucked up, though. <laughs> yeah. So basically, they had forty-one hours left to live. Basically. Like, get your half that line to have his friends. Get get your shit straightened out. Get your your affairs in order. Because things about to be done with. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be probably between 10 and 15 episodes just because we had this long build up to get to it. Yeah. So, I think <laughs> uh, it doesn't start next week. It starts the week after that. Next week is going to be them getting there and getting the rules. Yeah. Next so, week. Well, it might start next week at the end of the episode. At the end of the episode, yeah. yeah. The real fight ain't going to really start until the week after. Yeah. yeah so, I'm looking oh, for no, you know what? No, you know what I'm thinking? Uh, no, I'm thinking about it. Cause well, if we get if we get 15, that'll end it on 110. So yeah, never mind. You're right. I was, I was just thinking about how they like to end the episode num- the arcs with a, a certain number. Yeah. Cause like what was it? Uh the trunks arc ended with 66. Yeah, they like ending on even numbers, is what I'm looking at. So that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. So it it's gonna be interesting to say the least. Um, I'm actually looking forward to the fights because you know who I want. I want to see Goku and Kali for a fight. Oh, especially since she got Super Saiyan two now. Yeah, I want to see them fight. Look, like, look, he gonna show her three, and then she gonna transform into fucking three. I know what's gonna happen. No, you want to know what this reminds me of? Because I saw some people online getting <laughs> mad, but I'm like, dude, she's the only doing the same thing. Go to the trunks did. Yeah. That's but the she only got thing. the added. She's got. She's got go to Goku's attitude with their potential. Yeah, because you got to remember, Goten and Trunks are sitting at Super Saiyan three at seven and eight. Because mm. people are like, oh no, they can't go that high. Like, yes, they can. What the way their fusion works, you're only as strong as your weakest member. If he can go, if Gotenks can go Super Saiyan three, that means both Goten and Trunks are Super Saiyan threes. They just can't hold it that long. They can't harness it by themselves, basically. Yeah, they can't hold it that long in their individual bodies. That's why they have to fuse to keep it. Because they can only hold it in their fusion body for what, 20, 15 minutes? That was it. But, I mean, I guess if they trained enough, they could hold it longer. Yeah, but that that's why I'm like, you know, I, at first, when I first started seeing people getting mad, like she shouldn't have been able to go that fast. I'm like, well, actually, she should have. 
Because if she, I mean, has, I kind of, I kind of get that people want they the feel the need to work to build up to it. I understand that. Yeah, but they haven't because been doing that since she literally had like five minutes of experience with Super Saiyan. Yeah, but, <laughs> when she transformed. Her. But remember when Goten when Goten first did it, he just did it. Yeah, he just did it. Fucking training with Chi Chi. Yeah, by accident. Didn't even know he did it. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't know he did anything until she told him, called him a monster. And she, yeah, and he <laughs> he was looking around like he don't know what who the monster is. Uh, that's just one thing made me wonder. Like, how fucking strong is Chi Chi? Because look, that's a it's fifty it. times power up. Yeah, that's a fifty times power up. He kicked her after power up. up, and yeah. she still got back up. I'm like, what the? Now, what the hell you made out of? Yeah, <laughs> Chi Chi ain't no. The only thing Chi Chi can't do is fly. She, she got that. She got that Master Roshi syndrome going. Yeah, she can't fly, but I dare you to run up on her. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you don't. You don't want to run up on no real like Chi Chi. <laughs> nah, I mean, you got to remember, she went and slapped the taste out of freaking Boo Mouth. <laughs> I mean, she died for it, but that thing was like, God dang, woman. <laughs> the point is, she had she had the goal to do it. Yeah. She, she went for it. And she slapped the she literally slapped the taste out of his mouth because the taste went out of his mouth. <laughs> so I have much respect for Chi Chi. So <laughs> that's all like, you know, I mean, I, I can't get mad at her going at college for going different levels. I think she's gonna probably do it because I honestly think Kaba can do it. He just ain't showing nobody. He he could probably do it. He might not even know he can do it. That's a problem. Yeah, because once again. Back in that uh that previous tournament that between universe six and seven, Goku and Vegeta were like, Yeah, he got the potential to go blue. So apparently they they felt something strong from him. Yeah. Apparently. And, and well, I just kind of want to look see what they feel with uh Cauliflower and uh and Kale. <laughs> Kale is gonna be another one to worry about. <laughs> yeah, cause um that's why I'm like, I think Kale's gonna be the equalizer on that. Between getting like some of them Universe Eleven people out, it's probably will. She's probably gonna be the equalizer because, dude. I'm th- <clears throat> let's be real. That's Broly. I. Right? That's just Broly. And let's. I mean, look, they made her out to be him. Same personality type. She got to yeah. stole his lines from the movie. Basically, the, movie. <laughs> the only thing she wasn't saying was Kakarot. She was saying Kaba. <laughs> I mean, but that was that's a jealousy thing. At least she didn't. At least she didn't get her transformation. Or get her power from a crying baby. Yeah, at least she, at least she ain't got that. She got she got her, her power from a misunderstood misunderstood. Look, that's, that's better than that's better than a crying baby. I'm sorry, that's a lot better than a crying baby. And you held on to that grudge for I don't know how many years. <laughs> but that, <laughs> that's much better. Because th- that was immediate. That was an immediate response. I I can deal with that one. Yeah, yeah. Bro- Broly, Broly the Goku. That, how, 24, 25 years? Twenty five years. You just come on now, like bro. It is not that serious. Well, you can let that one go. Bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no crying. That that's <laughs> enough to wreck my psyche for twenty five years. I, I mean, know. I can understand if if he ran up on me, he was ten years old. Okay, but y'all well into y'all adulthood. <laughs> Well, nah, if he were, like, Goku ran up on him at that age, he would have died. Yeah, <laughs> by accident. It wouldn't even, no, nah, it wouldn't have been by accident. He would just die, though. <laughs> there would have been no hope for him. Yeah, so, I mean, I am personally looking forward to this. Um, I, I, I've been waiting for this one because I just want, I want to see my favorite, uh, Joke team lose that universe team with them with the weight lift the muscle dudes. Yeah, I'm I want to see all the dudes, all the dudes, in the coats. all of them, the dudes in the coats gonna get wiped out on one hit. And, and you, I, you know, who I want to see do it? Who I want to see, uh, Ribrian do it. Oh, okay, okay. If she transformed that blue pudgy thing, and they're like, You can't take us. Look at all that. Look at all that flab. We have muscle, and then she just wiped them out. No, no, but you gotta, before, they, before they do that, they got to drink their protein drinks. No, yeah, they, they, they flex and pose, drink their protein drinks. Like, <laughs> oh, get some, and then she just wipe them all out. I just yeah. I don't see that happen. And then I want to see the nerds get it. I want to see the I want to see the nerds get taken out by Gohan. 
<laughs> poetic justice. Nerds poetic. taken out by another nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and have go have Goku and Piccolo like comments on it. <laughs> like he learned to dodge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that that that's personally what I would like to see. <laughs> well, it, it would just be so it would be perfect if they did it that way. It's just like cause she look, Ribrian is the antithesis of the muscle leaguers. Yeah. And and Goku and Gohan is literally the the like the most powerful nerd there, basically. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. So, cause I, I got a feeling like the first couple of ep- first like three or four episodes are gonna be more comedic. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna uh, teams get wiped out with one blow from one. Yeah. <laughs> like 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 the the, the peon team is just gonna get destroyed. Like that, 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 that science either team. the peon team or the peon members of teams, peon members of teams because, like, you know, the, the one with the ultimate survival, yeah, that dude got to go in a hilarious way, you know. So, that, that's what that's one of the things I'm looking forward to. I'm, that's what I think, like, the first three or four episodes are gonna be is gonna be kind of like what they did in cell games when they had the two episodes with Mr. Satan's pupils showing up yeah. and getting decimated, but it was just hilarious. <laughs> It was all funny. Yeah, so I think that's what what's gonna happen. Get in smacked this. into a mountain. Yeah, the other <laughs> one sitting up there gyrating, and he got smacked. So, <laughs> you know, I, I think that's what's gonna happen with the with these with the first two or three episodes. It's just gonna be them getting rid of the fodder, and then well, that's we'll the obvious get, part. We'll, we'll get the real matches that we want to see. Dude, as long as long as. Oh, okay. I'll give them up to the first three episodes. First three episodes, we'll see the fodder disappear slowly, and then we'll get we'll get to the point where we see the 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 real contenders start taking on each other. Yeah. Which, if if they do it right, would be beautiful. I just I just want them to do it the right way. Yeah. Which means you know we're gonna see some uh, members of of Universe Eleven. We're gonna see Goku gonna find Jiren. And they're not gonna go at it at first, but they're gonna wind up getting to each other. <laughs> well, I mean, Goku's gonna meet Jiren in the next episode, so this is gonna, yeah, that's gonna be a stare down. Like, but you gotta look look at Jiren's chin in that in that that picture that they show. Like, Hold on, his chin looked way different than it did before, wasn't it? More triangular at first. Yeah, now it looks all strong and squarish. I'm like, what the hell did they do to him? <laughs> I don't know, but I, I'm expecting a great fight. I, oh yeah, it better be well, all this hype up that they do. All this hype they doing, yeah. Because <laughs> Goku I, and I honestly, Go, Goku and to- and Toppa was actually pretty good. Man, it was. But I want uh, Goku and Jiren to take it to the next level. Goku, you know, I was like, look, if they didn't stop Goku, he was gonna smash Toppa. That was. <laughs> yeah, and um, I think Grand Priest knew it. He was like, "Nah, hold, pff, pff, you ain't got like you might think you even with him. Nah, you ain't even with him." Yeah, because <laughs> once again, Goku likes to play too much. So, and he, here's hoping they give my boy Piccolo some good fights, man. They better because they were like, "Look, you do not call this. Don't call him the strategist for no damn reason." Yeah, let him show that he can. Let him show some more of them strategies like he did with the Universe Six tournament, even though y'all dicked him out of a win. Yeah, I, I, that's why I'm like, they gotta, they gotta make up for that. They better make up for that. They got to make up for that because I actually want to see him show a new power. It, it's it's about that time. Like he's been, he's gone for years without a transformation and kept up damn near kept up pretty well with everybody. Let him get a tra- just let him get, look. We already got the super super dynamics in the video games. Just let him turn into one. Yeah, or just, go or go beyond it. Like something. God damn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. That that's where I'm at, and but, that, that that's Toriyama's favorite character. Like, why why can't you give your favorite character a buff, bro? Come on. Yeah. So, hey, I I I, I agree with you. So, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to some um, Vegeta getting getting in and taking out some people. I'm looking forward to seeing Cauliflower and Kaba fight some people, mm. and Kale get mad because you see um Kaba and Kaba see them pairing up. In. She gonna see him pairing up on moves and shit. Like, yeah. hold you, this bitch in this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to. It. I, I I don't under I don't know why the trunks arc had me hyped, but this has me even more hyped. 
It's because it's because you got a whole bunch of new people that you know nothing about. Yeah. yeah. So there's a whole lot of possibilities that we can't predict. And with Trunks, it was just nice seeing future Trunks again. I kind of I kind of wish that they would have went and got Trunks instead of Freezer because Trunks at this point would still be stronger than Freezer. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I would love to see him like completely master Saiyan rage. So, yeah, like no, nah, like that would be the thing. Like, see, uh, Kale, see him turn go rage mode. What like, the fuck is that? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with him flickering in and out of blue. Yeah, well, well, his, I think his is like a mid step between Super Saiyan and Blue. Yeah. That was saying, I mean, remember, like he started, walking. like he had that blue outline, and then yeah. So I, look, yeah, the blue outline and the gold aura. Yeah. So I, that's all I really want, <laughs> people. That's all I really want. Or, and I, or, or, yeah, I understand Boo is like cheating. That's why they had to like. So he is. He's he's such a damn uh, a game shark for this tournament. Yeah. So <laughs> I understand why they had to keep him out. But if that was the case, they shouldn't have went and got free. Because once again, look, I like Frieza as, as a villain, but come on, man. I'm tired of Frieza. I mean, Fre- Frieza does bring in the money, though. That, that's, yeah, why they, that's why they went with him. Because he, he is the, the most famous of the villains. So Yeah, he is. He, he bring in the money. I am not mad at them for wanting to make money. I, I just wish... If they, they were going to do that, if they were going to do that, if, since they didn't beat up TN so bad, why not just drop TN and get fucking the future trunks? Yeah, shit. I mean, so, I like TN. I like him a lot. Like, but, but he's obviously the weakest member of this group right now. Like y'all, done, y'all done made him look bad twice in a row. Like just, just go ahead, drop him, get get future trunks. Yeah. So I, I mean, I don't think he would mind coming back and fighting for the people that saved his ass. Basically, <laughs> which is which is something I thought they were gonna do, but um, apparently Toriyama's like, no, nah, I, I only gave y'all that so y'all can get off my back about Future Tron. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> well, like, plus, like, look, like I would like to see where Gohan compares to him now because of the the boost he's gotten recently. Yeah. Well, you mean you mean that you mean that beat down Piccolo gave him? <laughs> where he where he was schooling his ass until he got up the level. Yeah. <laughs> Like man, like look, you would have been better. Like you would have been so much better if you just kept up your fucking training. Like you just had to let your ass, you just had to let your training go and be all, all little Mister Mister Super Dad and shit. Like I ain't <laughs> now, mad at you now for being we, daddy. When I got like three hours to get your ass in shape. <laughs> like I look, I ain't mad at you for being Super Dad and all, but damn it, motherfucker, you could have done some training. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> we got nine hours left, and I got I got three hours to get you in shape. <laughs> but he did it. Yeah, he did. Well, Piccolo is the ultimate motherfucking traitor. He did it. No. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and let's ha- let us have a moment of silence for those poachers that's about to run up on Go <laughs> <laughs> They are fucked. <laughs> they are they are fucked beyond belief. As the poachers, they is strong too. They will roll up on Go to the truck. And, and like, and we don't know if eighteen and Krillin's daughter knows anything, but she has to have some sort of level of strength. Well, because remember, eighteen was like she can handle herself. I'm she like, can handle what? herself. You don't know. You she can handle like that. I mean, mommy been training her, hasn't she? Yeah. So I'm, I, I'm, I feel, I feel sorry for them, for them um, poachers because they think they got it easy. <laughs> they have no idea the hell they about to get into when they go fight, and them two little, them two little boys gonna be on, <laughs> on the island. <laughs> Seventeen was taking it easy on you. Mm-mm. They gonna be playing. And thinking it's funny, but they gonna crush them. They're like, just, do just enough to not kill them. Yeah, <laughs> because they were told not to. <laughs> but but you, but you hit the dude in the submarine. He's like, oh, like with him gone, we can go ahead and take these animals. But the other dude was like, but they were flying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that I hope they I hope they take an episode just to show us them like just torturing them dudes. <laughs> Just for just for hilarity's sake, but uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for uh, this episode of Fresh Take Anime Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Andre, you got anything you want to um, pimp out? Well, I, I just put a, a litany of videos out on my channel not that long ago, and I'm probably gonna have a few more as the as time passes. Okay, all right, cool. And I did uh, 
upload a video um of the arms grand prix you guys can check that out on youtube and on vidme i'm i'm live on there as well so check that out give it a like share it with friends whatever and i will see you guys on our next uh anime edition peace peace out <laughs>